Welcome to today's video. Studio X tips, a very simple one. This is all around debugging. Short, but hopefully useful. Let's take a look. Sometimes you'll get to the point where you wanna add something into your workflow, but it might be after quite a number of steps. And the way to do that is within Studio is to drag in the activity. But first of all, you need the application to get to the right point in your workflow, whether it's a web app or whether it's a browser-based thing or a separate Windows application. Now you could do that manually, so you could open the browser, get to the point where you want. In this example, I'm gonna change some of the printer settings for the uh, example of PDF export of this uh, crypto price page. I could manually go to the web page. I could get to the right part, uh, part in the workflow. But there's a trick actually I wanna show you, and there's two ways of doing it. So one, if I wanna get everything in the workflow to this point so that I can add more settings, what you can do is very simply right click on the activity and you'll see this option here, run to this activity. This will basically get the application to the state, which will then allow you to then add the additional automation. So let me show you how it works. You literally just click it, the workflow will open, it will run as it normally would. So in this case, it's gonna bring up the browser, take us to this specific page, open the print dialog. Select PDF. Now, it didn't work in this case because the browser is basically set to close when the activity runs. So actually, if you wanna use this trick, one thing to do is come in here in the properties for the browser. Uh, this is for web-based applications. Where you see this value for close, just set this to never and that way it will remain open even when it runs. So now if we try doing this again and we want it to run right up to here, you say run to this activity, bring up the print dialog, select PDF, and as you can see, the robot has now finished, which means now I'm free to then carry on my automation and add in the relevant steps here. So. Let's say that my relevant step is that I want to just select an additional uh, printer setting in there. So how do I do that? Well, to do this, I would just come in here and do click and add it on as a, uh, within these options, I wanna come in here. As mentioned in my last tutorial, if you switch the default framework to the accessibility option, then we're actually able to interact perfectly with this dialog box. So I would wanna click this particular drop down here now what if I wanted to just test that clicking this box here actually has the desired effect here's another thing I want to show you which is how you can just run, you can test from a specific activity. So if I wanted to just test this, I've got the application in the right state, I wanna know if it's clicking that will work. Rather than doing run to from this activity or run to this activity, you can do this one, run from this activity. And what this one will do is basically start your workflow from this activity. Now my workflow has a few other things as well. It has a slave, etc. So what I can do is I can disable those while I'm testing. I can just come here and click disable activity um, and same with this one as well. And I can just run, f I can run from here. So all this will do is just test this one specific piece of the, my workflow, which is really handy when you're trying to debug or validate that the targets are working correctly. So if I was to say run from this activity, it will just interact and it will just run this single step. So it goes to the web page and it clicks the button. So two really useful um, shortcuts or productivity hacks really. One is the ability to run all the way the previous steps of your workflow to a specific point, really handy for when you need to add an additional state and when you wanna get the app to the right state. Another one is run from this activity, really useful when you've already got the browser into a specific state or the app and you just wanna test that maybe the last activity you added works. So those are two tips that I wanted to share and I hope you found this video useful and I'll catch you on the next one.